Okay, now that we've discussed and practiced the four solving methods for quadratic equations, let's now practice applying the appropriate solving method to solve a given quadratic equation. So if we look at this equation, x squared plus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0, what I want you to notice is that there are three terms in this equation, and so that immediately rules out the possibility that this is a difference of two squares, um, since we have three terms. I also notice that there's no greatest common factor that can be factored out of these three terms. And so I jump into my methods. And so the first method I always want you to think about is the method of factoring. And so remember, for factoring, in order for a quadratic to be factorable, we need the first and the last term's coefficients, which in this case, when I multiply those, I'm going to get one, and that middle term's coefficient, which is five, we need two numbers that would multiply to this one and add to five. Well, there are no such numbers that do that, and so that throws out the method of factoring. I'm not gonna be able to use factoring on this particular quadratic equation. That also pretty much eliminates the possibility of graphing it to get the answers, because if I can't factor it, that means I'm not going to get nice answers when I graph, and remember, our objective is to get nice uh, uh, exact answers whenever we want to solve this. And so that leaves me with two methods left. I've got completing the square and quadratic formula. For completing the square, I know that I'm going to have to take half of the middle term. Well, half of the middle term is 2.5, or 5 halves. That's a fraction. And when I square a fraction, guess what? I get another fraction. And if I can, I want to try to avoid having fractions in my equation because let's be honest, nobody really likes to deal with fractions, especially when they can be avoided. And so that eliminates completing the square as a viable option for um, solving this quadratic equation. Doesn't mean you can't use completing the square, it just means that it's not clever to use completing the square on this particular equation. And so that leaves me with the quadratic formula. And so that's what I'm going to use to solve this equation. And so I remember that the quadratic